If you care about your money, here's a step-by-step -step way to use corporate prices, a leading indicator that many economists watch, to see what the economy might do next. Hi, I'm Ace, and I've built a 400k plus portfolio in my 20s by tracking not just stocks, but also the signals that warn us before crashes hit. One of the biggest ones out there that people talk about is copper. Step one, understand why copper actually matters. Copper is in everything, cars, electronics, constructions. When demand for copper is strong, it usually means that businesses are building and consumers are spending. When demand falls, it can mean that the economy is slowing. Step two, look for price trends, not short-term moves. Don't get fooled by a one-week dip or a one-week uptrend. What you want to see is a clear downtrend, say 15 to 20% drop over several months. Historically, those big moves have lined up with recessions or stock market slowdowns. Step three, compare it with other signals. This is where most people get it wrong. Copper doesn't work by itself. Sometimes it crashes and nothing happens, like in 2011 and 2016. The edge comes when you line it up with other warnings, like the yield curve inversions, slowing earnings, or even where we are in the 18.6 year cycle. Step four, applying Warren Buffett's principles. Now Warren Buffett always says, don't predict, prepare. Copper is not a fortune teller, but if it's flashing red and other signals also are, that's when you adjust, either protecting your portfolio or setting up the buying opportunity on the other side. Well, there you have it. I do share my full breakdowns of all of these signals and how to actually use them to grow your portfolio in a free newsletter. So check them out. Now a question for you. Would you ever use copper as part of your investing checklist? Comment yes or no in the comments.